In this lesson, we're going to reproduce the example of the Twitter splash screen with the Twitter logo, which is zooming in, to reveal the Twitter timeline. So we're going to go to the main storyboard, so where we have one single view application, and we have one outlet, which is a UI image view. And we're going to add an image to it. So we have a few assets. First, the Twitter logo. So we're going to use this logo as the mask, which is going to reveal so then the timeline of Twitter. So that is this screenshot. So this screenshot, we're going to use it so as the timeline. So we're not going to be building a fully functional Twitter app. We're going to be using this screenshot instead. And also the view controller. So here you see that we declare so this outlet right here. And also we have an instance of CA layer. So inside view did load, so we initialize this mask with contents as well. So where we define the content of this mask, which is going to be the Twitter logo mask. And something you're probably familiar with, so that is this class, CG image. So you're probably remembering that we were using CG color in the previous demo with the slot machine. And this is coming from the Quartz Core framework. So we have at the top this import, which is commanding out. So we're going to remove these signs in order to be able to access. So all the classes provided by this framework. Next, we're using this weird um, word, which is gravity resize aspects. And what you should keep in mind with this contents gravity mode is that the purpose of contents gravity is to determine how the content should be aligned within the layer bounds. So it works a bit like the aspect content mode that we use for the images, just like in the interface builder in the main storyboard right here. So you see that here we have the content mode, which could be scaled to fill, aspect fill, aspect fill right here, and aspect fit. So it's very similar. So what you need to bear in mind is that we use this in order to allow the image to fit properly within the layer bounds without distorting the aspect ratio. And for the bounds, so that's pretty simple, so we want the bounds of the mask to be 100 by 100. And for the anchor point, so that's going to be half of the point starting from the top left corner of the view. And for the position of the mask, we want to position this one in the middle at the center of the view. So we're going to use the height and the width of the view divided by two in order to position this one right at the center. So we're going to be doing that. So first, we want to go to the main storyboard. So where we're going to add our Twitter screenshot. So that's going to be the first step. And then in view controller. So this is where we're going to add our mask right here. And we're going to be doing that in the next video lesson.